Happy New Year. I'm Jeb Smith, broker owner of Coastal Realty Group, here with your January real estate market update for Orange County and more specifically Huntington Beach. In this video, I'm going to recap the housing market for all of 2014 and more importantly, give you my thoughts on the direction of the housing market for 2015. Let's, dis let's start our discussion today with a look back at inventory of homes for sale for all of 2014 as the number of available homes is a big factor in determining the direction of future home price movements. There are two things I think you will find interesting with this chart. First notice how all three years show a clear seasonal pattern with inventory much lower at the beginning and end of the year with a steady increase through the spring before peaking in late summer. This shows that summer isn't just buying season but selling season as well. This is even more pronounced when we look at the chart showing just the new listings each month. The second thing I want to point out is how low the inventory is. As recently as 2011, there were nearly 600 homes for sale in Huntington Beach. Currently, there are less than 200, and last summer's peak barely got above 350. A balanced market is generally considered one where there is a six-month supply of homes for sale. At our current pace of about 150 sales per month, we should see about 750 homes on the market. Compared to this time last year, there is 7.7 .7 less supply for single family homes and 10% less supply of condominiums. This is a sign that supply is limited, which normally points to higher prices. Moving from supply, let's look at a measure of demand with days on market, which is, a, which is telling a similar story. A year ago, homes were taking about 51 days to sell. As the buy-in season picked up, this number fell to 46 days in the summer months before peaking at 65 days during the holiday season. By now, you're seeing that the real estate market definitely has a seasonal ebb and flow to it. Even though there were more homes to choose from in the summer months, the increased volume of buyers meant that they were selling faster. The story is the same whether we look at single family homes or condos. At the end of the day, what we are seeing with these numbers is that demand is continuing to exceed supply, largely due to the fact that sellers are not bringing as many homes to the market as there are buyers wanting to buy them. As you would expect, with these dynamics, the median price for single family homes in Huntington Beach and Orange County as a whole continued to push higher in 2014, but not at the rapid pace of previous years. Using a 90-day moving average, single-family homes ended the year up 5.8% at 772,000. Condos turned in a small gain of 0.7%, moving from 406 to 409,000. The bottom line is 2014 saw an increase in home prices throughout our area continuing to climb for 2012. Now that we have talked about the past, let's take a minute and discuss my projections on what 2000. 15 holds for the real estate market and what that means to you as a potential buyer or seller in the coming year. There are two big factors I expect to impact the 2015 real estate market. The first is interest rates, which are currently as low as they have been since May of 2013. To give you an overview of what to expect in 2015, I've invited my mortgage expert, Josh Lewis, to join us. Let's start by looking at a chart of the 30-year fixed rate over the last five years. In early 2011, rates began a steady slide from 5% all the way down below 3.375%. In May of 2013, the Federal Reserve announced the beginning of the end for quantitative easing. You may remember what happened next as rates jumped a full percent to 4.5% by the end of the summer. This time last year, most experts expected the continued rise of mortgage rates, hitting 5% by the end of the year. If you look over at the chart, you can see that did not happen. In fact, the exact opposite occurred, and here we are in 2015 with fixed rates again well under 4%. The big question is, why did this happen, and what does that mean for interest rates in 2015? While the U.S. economy did improve last year, for the most part, it's a slow and stagnant recovery. Until wages increase, we won't see inflation pick up, and rates are likely to stay below long-term norms. But the big story that's moving rates lower is the weakness outside of the United States. In Europe and Asia, what we're seeing is low or no growth and the increasing risk of deflation. As our economy is dependent on world trade, it's unlikely we're going to see a big upswing in our economy in the coming year. Right now, that means great rates for you. Buyers can benefit from affordability, better affordability, and with lenders slightly easing their guidelines, this could be the best time to get a purchase loan since the mortgage meltdown. 
For homeowners, there are two opportunities. With values up over 20% from the lows, refinancing to a better rate, or to finance home improvements is a great option. Those who decide to move up will benefit as they net more from their sale due to the increased prices and they'll be able to put more down on their new home, which means a smaller loan and a great rate. Hey, thanks for the insights, Josh. The other big factor I see impacting the 2015 real estate market is inventory, which is also at near-term lows. As we saw in the previous charge, we can expect the spring and summer to bring an increase in the amount of homes for sale. Unless we see more sellers making their homes available this year, we will see a similar dynamic as 2014, where the balance tips slightly in the favor of sellers, leading to a small increase in home prices. My expectation is that we will see a slight increase in homes for sale, but with rates and affordability still excellent, there will be a similar balance with buyers, which will lead to a, to a home price stabilization slightly to slightly increasing, much like last year. Now I know a lot of you are sitting on the sidelines waiting for the market to pull back and prices to drop before you pull the trigger on buying. With a slowly improving economy and great rates combined with minimal inventory, I personally can't see a scenario where the market would have a reason to pull back. If you are considering getting into the market, now is as good a time as we are likely to see. The same factors still hold true as last month for what it means to be a buyer or seller in today's market. I believe if you are looking to sell, now is a great time as you have several factors in your corner to help you get an offer and sell quickly if your home is priced correctly. One, low inventory. Secondly, super low interest rates. And as a buyer, the same rings true. Extremely low interest rates, will, which will work to your benefit as you can afford more home without increasing your monthly payment. And secondly, lenders are slowly loosening underwriting guidelines, enabling more buyers to qualify. As you know, all real estate is local, so if you are a buyer, seller, or investor and would like more information about your specific property or neighborhood, please give me a call and let's discuss your situation in more detail. If you want more information about me, please go to my website at jebsmith.net or check out my other videos on YouTube. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. 2015 is going to be an incredible year and I wish you the best. Talk to you soon.